One of the things you're going to learn very quickly in programming is that mistakes are incredibly common. I like to tell my students you only have to get a program right once. You can make all the mistakes you want up until then. Um, you're allowed an infinite number of wrong programs as long as you eventually get to the right one. So the question becomes, suppose you've written a code uh, with an express purpose in mind and it's not doing what you want it to. How do you find out where the mistake is? So this is a code that I wrote. Um, it's, about four, it's about 15 lines long. Um, and the purpose is to create a cube and move it across the screen in a sign pattern. So we want to see the cube go like this across the screen. So I've set it up in the best way I know how. I've given it a minimum x value to start at. I've given it a maximum x value to start at. I've given it a step in the x direction like we've seen we need to do. Um, I've created the cube here. I think I've given it all the properties that it needs. Um, and then I set up a while loop and the while loop updates the X position and then sets the Y position as the sign of X and it's going to loop and move it across the screen. Only control two, it doesn't do that. The box stays where it is, stays where it starts over on the left hand side. At least I think that's what happens. Uh, maybe the program is doing something without me knowing it. Um, and so let's say I've got this situation where the program is not doing what I intended it to do. I need to find the error in it. We call this process debugging because the assumption is that somewhere in the code we have a bug. We have something that we didn't intend to put in there or we omitted something or we mistyped something. Either way, there's a, a thing that is either causing an error or not causing an error, but it's causing the program to not do what you want it to do. And so we are trying to get rid of bugs, so we are debugging the program. And one of the best tools you have in your arsenal uh, to, to try to find bugs is the print statement. Um, the advice I was given in grad school was find the last point at which you know the program is working and the first point at which you know it's not working and put in a print statement in between there so that the program can tell you what is going on, what it knows. So for example, I'm pretty sure it's working up until line nine because I tell it to create a cube and lo and behold, there I have a cube. So unless there's something weird going on in this command that I don't know about, I'm fairly certain that this command is working. So I would put in a print statement here because something's happening with this loop that it's either not entering the loop or it's entering but not executing these commands for some reason. So the first print statement I'm gonna add is here at line 10, just to make sure that this cube is where I think it is. Um, so let's try to get it to tell us some information about the cube. Let's have it tell us the cube's position. All right, we put in the position over here. We set the x value to x min, that's a negative two pi put in zero for Y and Z, but who knows, maybe something got lost in the translation between those two. So we're gonna have it print for us the cube's position, control two to run. Okay, so I haven't changed the actual behavior of the code, so it still is not producing the result I want here. The only thing I've added is this, let me maximize this, there we go. The only thing I've added is this vector here, and I'm gonna compare that against, I guess I could do the fancy thing here, there we go. I wanna compare this against what I told it to make the cube position up here. So the position is supposed to be x min zero zero. Here I got a negative 6.2800, zero zero. negative 6.28 to my recollection is two pi, or 6.28 is two pi, negative is negative two pi. Um, and so that seems to be working. So I seem to have that uh, working out appropriately there. Um, so the question is what's going on with the loop? So I know everything here is working fine. So I'm gonna make a little note working fine here. So, so far as I can tell, everything seems to be working fine up until that point. Now I need some information about this loop. And when I work with a loop, I like to put in a few print statements. I like to put in one before I enter the loop. I like to put in one somewhere in the loop. The beginning ought to be fine. And then I like to put one at the end of the loop because I need to make sure that I'm entering the loop appropriately. Uh, I need to make sure that I'm going around the loop enough times and I need to make sure that I get out of the loop. Um, and th this print statement, I might put one, you know, in between each line because who knows the problem might be somewhere in here. Um, if I determine that there is a problem inside the loop, then I can 
uh, look in between these lines in a little bit more detail. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell this one, uh, have this print statement tell me uh, information about the loop, the things that um, I have inputted into this loop here. Um, and so, but I'm going to end up with a lot of print statements over here, right? So I'm going to end up with one, two, three, four print statements. So I need to have my print statement tell me what it is it's telling me. So let's add in a string here, Q position is, and then a comma. So this is now queuing me in, okay, this is the one from line 10. So that way I don't just get numbers out and have to try to recreate where they came from. Here, let's put in a message um, about to enter loop. Now, let's think about what information um, about this loop I might want to check. Well, let's check the cubed. We just checked the cube dot position, so I think we'll be okay with that. Um, so let's check x min, x max, and dx just to make sure that those are giving me the information I want. Um, here, let's have it tell me I'm in the loop. Um, let's see, what information can it tell me here? I just had it tell me x min, x max, and dx. Um, well, so let's just leave that as I'm in the loop for right now. And if I want more information about the loop, I'll get it later. And here we'll have it print, I'm out of the loop. And maybe let's have it tell me cube dot position again, just so I can see if the thing moved and reset in some way that I don't understand. Um, it's, it's always a safe assumption to, to assume that the program is doing something that you're not aware of. Okay, I still don't see any motion because I didn't change anything. Okay, so I look over here, I've got cube position. So that's my print statement from line 10. Uh, about to enter loop. And so I look at line 12. So I was able to get to line 12. And then I immediately see I'm out of loop. So I never saw I'm in the loop. So now I know the issue is not that it's going into the loop and then coming out. It's never going into the loop to begin with. So the next thing I would probably check would be this condition, this, uh, this condition here for why it's not entering the loop. So let's have it print here, uh, loop condition. And we'll just paste this right in here. Um, I don't think I need parentheses around this, but just in case, it's always safer to add parentheses. There we go. So now I should get a true or false there. Control two to run and we'll scroll down. Okay, so I have the same things I had before, cube position, about to enter loop. Then I look at loop condition and I get a false. And it's at that point that I look back at the thing that I set as false and I realize my mistake. My mistake is that I set cube position dot x greater than x max. What I need to have that be is x min because that's the starting one. That's the one that I am, oh, excuse me. That was also a mistake. Uh, what I want this to be is I want this to be a less than. There we go. That was a deliberate mistake and I almost made an actual mistake to, uh, to, to fix it. Um, so what I want this to be is less than because I want it while the cube's position is less than the maximum value, not greater than the maximum value. That's not much of a maximum if it's greater than it. Uh, so let's run this one now. Lo and behold, I get my animation. Um, oops goes off the screen, there we go. And when I look down here, I see I've got lots of I'm in the loop print statements. Um, and this is the final step of debugging. Make sure you take out your print statements at the end because you don't want them staying in the final product that you make. Um, I tend to comment out my print statements rather than delete them because I know I'm probably gonna encounter a similar mistake later on or need to check the same thing. And so I tend to leave them commented so that I can put them back in whenever I need to. So that's a little uh, adventure through debugging. I hope that's inspirational. I hope that shows you just how common mistakes are and how easy they are, easy they are to fix. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.